Hello guys, back again. And as a lot of people know, who at least people who who are into the fighting community, gaming community, Evo is the big event of the year. Evo is the big fighting, you know, just the big fighting event uh, for fighters. Evo is a big thing for you know for fighters and, and fighting games. And every year, there's always a, a you know, conversation: of what games are going to be in this year's Evo? Some you know, Super Smash Brothers and stuff. A lot of things have been debated in the past. You know what they like to see that weren't in it, so forth and so on. Anyway, they just added Tekken Tag Tournament Two to the roster of Evo uh, 14 uh, fighting games. So tournament events and, and organizers announced it. Uh, and basically, that brings their current roster of games for Evo 2014 up to eight, which will include Blaze Blue, Chrono Phantasm, uh, Injustice, Gods Among Us, Killer Instinct, uh, King of Fighters 13, Super Smash Bros. Melee. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and Ultimate Street Fighter 4. Again, most mainstay games, again, I like to see Mortal Kombat on here, but you got Injustice, which Injustice is basically Mortal Kombat 9 game engine on steroids, if you've ever played the game. So not only has this happened, basically registration for EVO has already been uh, updated for Tekken Tag Tournament 2, and they also it's also been revealed that because this, obviously, this game is in the tournament, uh, Bandai Namco Games owner of the game will actually be uh, one of the event's sponsors, which is kind of cool. I mean, to me, it is kind of cool. You know, your game is in the tournament. You might as well sponsor because, you know, you want to you want to help it out. And uh, basically, EVO 2014 will take place uh, in Las Vegas Hotel and Casino July 11th through the 13th. And I'm obviously, EVO is obviously live-streamed online if you want to check that out. But again, I, I think it's cool that there's an event with all, all these fighting games. And, you know, like we all know with Evo, at least the news in the years, you know, Super Smash Bros. was always a, a, a fickly one to get in here. But it is kind of cool that they had more games that people like to play. And uh, especially the fighting genre, because I've been tempted to get Tekken Tag Tournament 2. I love Tekken Tag Tournament 1, by the way. Uh, playing the arcade, I actually loved it. I don't know why I haven't got two. Uh, I've been seeing, I see it on the shelf and I go, you know, I really should get that, and yet I, I don't. Uh, but it is cool that they're adding more games to the roster. I think sometimes it, it can get a little, if you're someone who's not like into like Street Fighter, if you're just a lot of, you know, like some people are into just one fighting game, right? And, and they, that's what they were going to watch the live stream for. But if you're someone who's like not necessarily a big fighting, you know, fan of one series, but like to watch the game, the gameplay, uh, and you then watch Evil, you may get a chance to see a fighting game you would have never seen otherwise. And you may want to pick it up or check it out. Anyway, guys. One thing about Tekken Tag Tournament 2 being added to the Evo lineup, I think it's a good thing. Again, I think Tekken, uh, for the longest time for me, when it first came out, I thought this is a B-rated fighting game compared to Street Fighter and, and like Mortal Kombat. I always thought it was basically ripping them off, and, and except using 3D. But then later when I sat down to play Tekken and Tekken 2, Tekken 2 when it came out, Rose, it was a great game. And don't get me wrong, every game borrows from another game. Like, a lot of games aren't original. If you really dig into it, a lot of video games borrow from other video games or influence from them. But, anyway, what do you guys think of the, the current Evo lineup? Or do you like do you like to watch Evo live stream? Have you ever checked it out? Anyway, guys, like always, thanks for liking, favoring, and subscribing. I really do appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later.